他们不停的这么犯罪，不停的这么发怨言，不停的攻击耶和华，最后耶和华要除灭他们。Down to verse twenty-eight. 如果我们看在第二十八节 ，Then they had barely gotten to the promised land when they succumbed to the enticement of Baal Peor. 他们最后总算到了这个迦南地，然后到了一个地方与巴利比尔联合的地方。They ate sacrifices offered to the dead. 但是呢，他们。这个再再次的犯罪是做什么呢？吃了祭死神的这个物。And they turned to doing the things that the godless nations were doing. 然后他们做的事情是神严令禁止他们做的事情。They did not destroy all the peoples in Canaan. 他们没有灭绝迦南那些原原来这些迦南人行罪恶、恶贯满盈的这些迦南人。See, God said, "I give you this land, but you have to destroy all the people that are in in the land." 耶和华亲口对他们说，我把这片地赐给你们，但是你们要灭绝所有在这片土地上罪恶满盈的原住民。Instead, they left a certain number of them to live with them. 相反的，他们不但没有除灭，他们甚至纵容一些的人跟他们混居、杂居在一起。And those people that were left got them to even offer their sons and daughters as sacrifices to demons. 那些甚至更走得更远的还有什么呢？他们把这个自己的儿女献出来，献殷，献出来以后呢，啊，献给这些假神，这些这些来行这些这个败坏的事。Until they were living as as evil a life as the nations that God was chasing out of Canaan. 所以他们行行的罪恶，在圣经说他们最后行的罪恶，就像啊神要灭绝的迦南人犯的罪恶一样。Then come down to verse forty-six. 然后在诗篇一零六的第四十六节 ，The writer of the psalm included all these sins to show how they sinned in spite of all God had done for them. 这个诗篇的作者也写说，尽管犹太人是如此的败坏罪恶，这个不停的背逆犯罪，但是耶和华慈爱的耶和华对这些犹太人都行了什么样的慈爱 ？But now the the writer adds this at the end of his sermon, at the song. 啊，现在在诗篇快到了结尾的时候，诗篇的作者是这样写 ：When they recognize their sin， 他说，当你们成日看见你们的罪孽的时候。When they recognized or when they acknowledged the punishment God had brought in on them was just. Ah, 当他们承认说，在他们所行的罪孽的应得的报应是是这个耶和华公义的审判的时候 ，they repented and called out to God for forgiveness. 然后呢，他们就什么？他们就悔改，求求耶和华赦免他们的罪恶 ，and God forgave them. 那耶和华的确赦免他们。You see, a penitent, a penitent son has to acknowledge the sin that was done. 你看这个悔改的诗篇里面，你有一个重要的元素，就是这这些人犯罪的人要承认自己确确实实犯罪抵挡耶和华才行。You see, when you and I repent, we have to repent from something that we have done. 呃，当我们说我们悔改的时候，我们是要从我们所行的罪恶当中回转。And we have to tell it. 而且我们是要亲口的承认来认这个罪。That's why in the New Testament, it in First John, First John one nine, it says, "If you confess your sins, He is faithful and just to forgive you your sins." 呃，所以在新约圣经，在约翰一书第一章第九节是说，神是信实的。若你你承认自己的罪，神就要赦免你的罪。Now the most famous penitent psalm is David's Psalm 51. So you can open the Bible to that. 在所有的诗篇里面，最著名的悔悔罪诗是在诗篇五十一，是大卫所写。David had committed adultery with Bathsheba. 我们知道大卫跟这个巴士巴有这个淫乱的行为。And then arranged. That her husband would be killed. Then, then David secretly murdered and killed Bathsheba's husband. And David was sort of being living sort of peacefully. He thought everything had been 
，可不是。这个大卫通奸淫乱以后，然后又偷偷摸摸设局杀死了八十八的。这个这个丈夫，然后把他娶进宫以后，他觉得这个事儿都一切都天下太太平，是好像这个事儿都就像没事人一样，他就踏踏实实的在宫里面过日子。See, I'm telling the story right now. This comes out of the head of the song. 啊，我现在是只是在跟大家介绍诗篇五十一的这个背景。You see, and God sent His prophet. Nathan to to David. 后来大这个呃耶和华就差遣他的先知拿丹去见大卫王。And the prophet told a parable. 然后这个先知拿丹就给大卫讲了一个故事，讲了一个比喻。And he said there was a, a man. A man was very rich. 他说有一个富有的人，非常有钱。And he had lots of sheep. 然后他家里有很多很多头羊。And his neighbor was very poor, just one lamb. 这个就这个大富豪的家的旁边住在一个人是非常的穷，他全家唯一的财产就是一只小羊。Now one night a a a somebody came to his house to stay with him. A friend came to. 有一天晚上，这个富豪家里来了一个朋友，到他家里来做客过夜。He had to pre prepare a meal for him. 那这个富豪就要准备一一顿饭给他的朋友吃。But he was very miserly person. He didn't want to kill any of the sheep. 但是这个富豪发现他是非常吝啬的一个人。他说：“我家里这么多羊，我舍不得杀，我得要去找一头羊来杀。” So he sent his、uh, his his servant over to the poor man's place and he took the sheep of the poor man. 他就差遣自己的家丁跑去说：“你把我们住在我们家旁边的那个穷人家里那只小羊，那个给我拿来，我们要把那只羊杀了，给我的朋友吃。” And、uh, And in the parable, it says the, that poor man he loved that sheep very much. Oh, in this story, the prophet Nathan said, "He said that the whole family was very devoted to that sheep because that sheep was their only sheep. The whole family loved that sheep. And David heard that story. He got very angry. This David heard that story. He got very angry. This David heard that story. He got very angry. This David heard that story. He got very angry. This David heard that story. He got very angry. This David heard that story. He got very angry. This David heard that story. He got very angry. This David heard that story. He got very angry. This David heard that story. 他说：“这个狗胆包天，这谁敢做这样的事？若是我查出是谁，我他的人头落地。” And、uh, said, and Nathan says, "You are the one who did it." 先知拿来说：“我王啊，你就是那个富豪。” And uh, and uh, naturally, then all of a sudden, David realized what he done with Bathsheba and Uriah. 当这个谈话谈到这个时候。这个大卫王就意识到了，原来他和八十八啊之间的这个通奸，后来又谋杀赫人乌利亚的事情，这个就是在讲这个事，实际上在讲他自己了。And David immediately repented. 然后大卫立刻就在耶和华面前悔改。And asked God to cleanse him from his sin. 他求耶和华啊，从他的罪孽当中把他洗净。And he wrote that in this song. 然后耶大卫就写了诗篇五十一。That's what this song was written for. 这就是诗篇五十一写作的这个这个目的。You see, this is why God called David a man after His own heart. 这就是为什么圣经讲到说耶和华，呃，这个大卫是耶和华所心爱的人。When God showed him his sin, he repented immediately. 这个他之所以讨耶和华的喜悦，是因为当耶和华啊，这个把大卫的罪列这个显明给大卫看的时候，大卫立刻就悔改。You see, in verse two, it says David, David asked him. He says, "Cleanse me uh, from my sin." 这个他这个大卫呼求耶和华说，求你洗净我的罪，在第二节。And in verse three. Then looking at himself, he says, "Man, he says, I'm a, I'm a terrible person." 在第三节说，嗯，他知道自己的罪以后，他说，我是一个何等的样的罪人了。He saw himself as one in whom iniquity is present all the time. 他在第三节说，我的罪常在我面前，意思就是我是常常犯罪的这么一个人。You see, in verse five, he says he saw that he was born in iniquity. 在第五节甚至说，我是在罪孽里生的。See that's 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 repentance. That is. 这是真正的悔改，就是你悔改到骨头里面、心肠的最深处里面去了。And in verse four, he he acknowledged that his sin wasn't just against Uriah and Bathsheba. 
呃，在第四节，他意识到他的罪不仅仅是这个、这个、这个、这个罪罪抵挡了这个，就是侵犯了八十八和呃谋杀了他的丈夫。But but it was against God, 